What's up YouTube? How are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Apple TV update that allows Dolby Atmos right now. And we're going to get into it right after the jump. And I'm back. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn about 4K, home theater and audio products, and how to set them up properly, you should consider subscribing because I'm here to help. And don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I do a live stream and answer your questions or when the next video gets released. Well, now that that housekeeping's out of the way, let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here's the situation. A week ago, Apple released the 12.0 beta and nothing happened, you didn't get Atmos. But a couple of days ago, you did. Now, once you have automatic updates turned on, you're good to go. Now, if you guys want to know how to get in on this public beta, I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to check it out. One of the main things and reasons why I'm making this video a little bit later than everyone else is I wasn't too impressed, but that's just me. But here's the situation. Not everything works. There are about eight titles, eight, eight titles on iTunes that support Dolby Atmos. And I'm showing a list of it right now here for you guys to check out. So these are the eight movies and that's pretty much it because this is just that. It's a public beta and everything's not working. All right, so what else isn't working? So the Netflix app is definitely not working. There is no Dolby Atmos in the Netflix app on the Apple TV 4K just yet. So that'll probably be coming in between now and fall and it's still in the works, hence public beta. Not everything is 100% working, so not really sure if you guys want to take the time to do this. What is working, you ask, Technodad? What is working? Well, the Voodoo app seems to be working just fine. Voodoo does support Dolby Atmos and Dolby Vision, so you guys will be getting that double D. All right, so my suggestion to you guys at home is just to wait. I mean, if you really, really, really want it, I'm just like, gotta have that Dolby Atmos, then by all means, click the link, sign up through Apple website, get the developer you know, software installed. Um, I know everybody's made videos about this and I know uh, Shane from Spare Change has made a video, definitely go check it out. He does show you like, you know, it, you do get it on certain titles and you know, it works with your AV receiver. So definitely check out his video links down in the description. Just wanna let you guys know my opinion about this update and the developer software for the Apple TV 4K. Just relax and wait it out. Wait for it to be ready for prime time instead of just fumbling through because it is a beta, there are gonna be bugs, and it, you know, there's probably still gonna be bugs when they roll it out. But you know what? Majority of them will be hashed out by fall. So Techno Dads here telling you guys at home, just wait. Wait. Don't really do it unless you're chomping at the bit to get it. That's pretty much it. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. Go ahead and smash that like button if you did. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your Techno Dad, and I'll see you next time. Okay.